And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. We look at these temperatures on this map and it doesn't really seem like temperatures we should be seeing for this time of year with highs only in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Our normal high for this time of year should be about 10 degrees warmer and we were quite the cool spot looking across the Midwest with temperatures running about 10 to 50 degrees above normal down in the central plains and the southern Midwest. But unfortunately, if you were wanting some of that warmer weather, we did not see that here in Wisconsin. It was a gloomy day, started off with some light rain showers, and it seemed like the tower cam was so close that it could just touch the clouds. That's how low these clouds were all day long. These stratus clouds are moving out and about. We've got this area of low pressure that's heading off to the east and southeast, but it will stick around here for the next couple of days and a trough of low pressure. So some area of instability in the atmosphere sparking off some of these rain showers. Now to the west, high pressure will eventually arrive here, but it looks like it'll be more so during the beginning or middle part of next week's work week. Close look does show these rain showers swirling around that area of low pressure at the moment. Pretty dry and gloomy, but heading into the overnight, expecting some additional rain showers to move in from the northwest down to the southeast. That will also be the wind flow coming in from the northwest about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, waking up with cloudy skies and additional rain showers moving in here from the northwest. We could actually break into some sunshine, but that will allow the atmosphere to destabilize and you see all these little pop ups. We could even have a few isolated rumbles of thunder. The Storm Prediction Center has a general thunderstorm outlook. Nothing severe, but we could have a couple claps of thunder. Don't be surprised. Later tomorrow evening, the rain showers and isolated storms start to move out. We'll break into some cloud and clear sky mix by Monday morning. Once again, Additional rain showers moving in here and that continues into early Tuesday morning. It's not heavy rain we'll see. It's just very stagnant rain showers sticking around here, so not a whole lot of rainfall under a tenth of an inch for most areas. Tomorrow's high temperatures will get up to near 60 degrees with on and off rain. Normal high 69 will run about nine degrees below normal. Now talking about the tropics, wanted to discuss Tropical Storm Ian, which has formed over the Caribbean Sea, and this storm will be monitored very closely across the continental United States because look at the spaghetti plot models. It looks like Florida could be uh, hit by this storm and it is expected to quickly intensify to a category four hurricane, 130 mile per hour winds by Tuesday afternoon. So for any friends or relatives that you have in Florida, I'm sure they're monitoring that track very closely. 52 overnight low straight rain showers possible northwest winds 5 to 10 tonight we cool off tomorrow we warm up to the lower 60s northwest winds at 10 to 20 gusts near 25 and then for the next seven days we will stay cool at least for the next few 52 for Tuesday but we will start to warm things up look at that upper 60s on Friday and perhaps breaking to 70 degrees on Saturday still ahead.